Hey, how's it going, Raiders? Welcome back to another episode of Quant Gaming. This is Raid Shadow Legends. Today's video is going to be the Ice Golem Trial and Error video, and it's going to coincide with the Part 3 of 4 mission, dungeon mission that is, of winning 15 5-star or 6-star artist artifacts from stage 13 or higher of the Ice Golem's Peak. And I'm going to jump right into it. I think I'm going to start on one of them that I've never done before. And that is going to be Ice Golem. Here we go. Maybe 15 I've never done. Yeah, 15. Ugh, it's going to be a challenge, just so you know, because it's uh, the opposite affinity of all of my main characters or champions. So we will see what I can do. But I will throw Apothecary in the lead for that extra defense. Wait, does he have more defense or does Whirlum Frost King? I think Whirlum Frost King does. Where is Whirlum Frost King? There he is. I already got a Cold Heart. I'm going to get an Apothecary. I will take uh, definitely my Stagnite. And I will try Light Sworn right away. All right, let's go on a run. See what happens. Yeah, I haven't done this before. I, I truly believe it's going to be a train wreck. I could probably manual it. Let's see what happens on auto, though. Hmm. I'm, yeah, this is... Oh, she actually hits him pretty hard without any defense down. Okay. You're not doing too bad so far. And if um if it's not going well, I can put in Tomb Lord for one of the other champions. But we'll see if it goes well or not. I've actually never seen these, these enemies before in the mobs. This is different from stage 13 and stage 14. Mm, the magma bloods. Oh, nice. Kill one. They have bombs. So I don't want to get a bomb. That's a big purple blob of the enemy. And there's two husks who I think hit very hard. Not as hard as my guy. There you go. All right. Oh, she used her heart seeker. Come on. All right. So we'll see how Light Sworn does. If it, so I would replace Light Sworn with Tomb Lord if it, this one doesn't go well. I don't know if I would, though, because uh, Stagnite actually applies a decrease attack and a decrease defense as well. And Light Sworn has an increased defense. So they're kind of working on the opposite sides here. The whole goal is going to keep um, Heart heart Seeker, um, Cold Heart up. That's the most important thing right now because she has her Heart Seeker. Boom. Oh, that was horrible. 53,000. I got to take her to the Minotaur's lab. Labyrinth. Oh, keep keep your cold heart alive. There you go. If she dies, I think that's going to be a challenge. Though I, I will say I'm doing way better than I thought I would be doing. Don't get me wrong. I don't think I'm doing well. But I, th I, I thought I would be creamed on the trash mobs coming up to the ice golem. All right, there you go. I got relentless gear on Light Sworn because I like his uh, two or his, his A1, his a three hitter, and I use him for Fire Knight as well. All right, here, got to have the Heart Seeker. That's much better than the other one. Good, 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 good. All right. Oh, she's got a perfect veil on as well. Nice. Can't be hit. At least she could be hit in an AOE, but she can't be hit. Targeted by the mini. Ugh, she died. Okay. Whoa. She she came back to life. She must have had revive on death. That was huge. Even though it was just one hit. Come on, apothecary. What? You idiot. Should have healed. <laughs> Should have healed Coldheart. Because he's going to come with a heal reduction, that that little minion or whatever he is. Come on, soothing, soothing chant there. Come on, soothing chant her. Come on, soothing chant. Yes. All right. And a heart seeker. That, that's amazing. I'm actually gleaming right now. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. All right. Honestly, honestly, honestly thought that would have been... 100% getting smoked. All right, so go to the stage selection. Let's see what the next one is and try that one out with the same team. Void. All right. Um, I honestly don't think I'm going to win that one either. But it goes from, I'm just going to look forward. So stage 16 is void. Stage 17 is back to spirit. Stage 18 is magic. Okay. 
All right, let's go try this with void. And if this one doesn't work, I can always go back to my main team because I think my main team does really well. But actually throwing in Light Sworn there was enormous. Absolutely enormous. I thought he did incredibly well. All right, there you go. Increased defense. Perfect timing. And Light Sworn's fully booked right now, not fully mastered. Actually, I think he's only tier one or tier, maybe tier, entering tier three masteries. So he's the lowest mastery champion. Him and Whirl and Frostring are the two lowest mastery champions. No one's fully mastered yet at, at this point. Um, that, that'll be coming in a while. I'm saving all of my scrolls for every champion so I can do one giant mastery upgrade video. And I, I don't care about that, that I'm losing out time on masteries for whatever, like two, three weeks, whatever it's going to be. I just think it'll be better to put all in one video. So you can see everything happen at once. And it's a grind. That minnow, that minnow labyrinth is quite the grind. Oh, it sure is. All right. Kind of liking that increase defense from Light Sworn a lot, that AoE increase defense. All right. Um, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to get through this this uh, mob real quickly. And it should be pretty straightforward getting to the Ice Golem, but beating him, of course, is going to be another story. Okay, that Heartseeker got burned right there. Oh, you burned your increased defense, you Light Sworn. Why would you do that? Sometimes they use their wrong moves at the wrong time. I think we've all experienced that once or twice. Oh, cool. Uh, Whirl and Frost King froze that, that side guy. All right. I don't think Heart see or Heart Seeker. Uh, why do I keep calling her Heart Seeker? Cold Heart will be making it very far in this fight at all, unless she gets an increased defense real soon. She got increased critical damage though, so if she gets a Heart Seeker off all that's up, that would be nice. Oh, come on, you need to get your your dead light sworn. Okay. So no to light sworn on this one. I can already replace him with I'll have to think about it. I'm not exactly sure who. I'm actually surprised that he died before Cold Heart did. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm gonna get smoked on this. All right. So I think I'll come back with a couple magic champions, probably Adriel, so I can have another healer. Definitely Adriel and reflect damage. Uh, maybe instead of Lightsworn, actually. In fact, I think I will do that instead of Lightsworn. All right, this, so this one's game over. All right, let's see. Leave battle. Yeah, I'm definitely leaving the battle. Okay, Light Sworn, you died. Unless I manual it. Maybe I can manual this. All right, I'm just going to go to the stage selection. I'll consider manualing it while I go through the roster to see if there might be a better team to put together to beat this. So he is a void. And Whirlum Frost King's adding a lot of defense. And that's good. He adds, oh, it's in the arena. Well, that was moronic of me. I thought I was getting extra defense from him. Well, maybe I'll try it with Apothecary in the lead. I thought that aura was for... Wow. I thought that aura was for everywhere. All right. I don't know if 21% extra defense is going to help. I really don't. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's just kind of interesting watching this and trying to reflect upon that last battle, whether there's a significant difference with this defensive aura in the lead now. That is Doom Screech. I have a couple of him, and I've never built him up yet. I just I think every time I got him, I was disappointed. 
he's a void character. I was disappointed in receiving him instead of some sort of epic or legendary, which is completely unrealistic um, to receive an epic or legendary over a rare. So I'll, I'll look into him someday. But right now I have other priorities on my list of champions to build up. Uh, one of the next in line is Rear Guard Sergeant, who I think would be very helpful as a carry who has an ally protection, and that just showed up by the enemy team to get through this. So get through not just this uh, particular dungeon, but all of the dungeons, especially as I'm entering into the mid-game. I don't even know if I'm entering the mid-game anymore. I think I'm fully entrenched in the mid-game. I'm a mid-gamer. I'm a mid-gamer, just upgrading champions and working my way through these dungeons and working through the Arbiter missions. All right, come on, Light Sworn. Do not use your, do not use your ability right now, Light Sworn. I'd be so frustrated. There you go. That's what I wanted you to use. I don't care about your revive on death skill right now. All right. So you went ahead and used your tornado whirlum when there was one champion remaining. That's frustrating. All right. So Light Sworn's going to use his revive on death. There we go. That's huge. That defense going up. See, I don't even care that he has heal reduction on him right now. Light Swarm, that is, because I, I just think for the next two or three rounds, he won't die. All right. All right. Ooh, cold heart. Not good. Not good. Definitely not good. The cold heart's going to die right now. And she's going to hit that little side guy. That's so stupid. That AI is intentional to hit the side guy. As opposed to Cold Heart. See, I think Adriel might be a better idea over Light Sworn right now. I just think she's built out better and has that AoE heal as well as as well as um um the reflect damage. Yeah, there's no way without I hate that screen protector thing. There's no way that without a cold heart that this is going down especially when those side guys come up boom that's a slow grind extra turn boom he's only getting like 1000 off per hit man this ice golem is rigid he's got you know apothecary with that speed is awesome oh nobody got frozen that's huge That's really huge. This might actually be like a seven minute battle. If it, you know, win or lose, it might be a seven minute battle. But you know, that's what happens when you do these for the first time. You kind of theory craft and just put your champions out there and see how they perform together. I mean, I'd really like to put Draco Morph in here, get those poisons down. Um, speaking of poisons, Tomb Lord, Tomb Lord does poisons too. Not as frequent as my. Draco Morph, and because he's not booked up, I think it's every four turns as opposed to every three for Draco Morph. So maybe I'll bring Draco in here. Draco and Adriel. So I'd get rid of Stagnite and and Lightsworn to bring in Draco and Adriel. Then I can put Adriel in the lead and have a speed lead. I don't know if that matters though, because she only has a magic affinity speed lead. Whereas Apothecary's aura, I call it a speed lead, uh, Adriel has a speed aura for magic affinity characters. Whereas Apothecary's defense up for every single champion on your team. Speaking of defense up, thank you, Whirl and Frost King. Yeah, I could definitely use Adriel in here. She would provide secondary healing, I'll call it. Hmm. I'm just not feeling Light Sworn. Only because he's not. He doesn't have full gear, higher level masteries, nor does he have um, full gear, like fully ranked up gear on. He's still fine. I mean, he, he got us through the last dungeon. All right, so that's a wrap. I'm not going to watch this anymore. These guys don't have enough firepower, so leave battle. All right. All right, so Stage selection. I'm going to jump back into the void one and mix the team up a little bit. All right, you're out and you're out. You're in. 
and you are in. Let's see how this goes. And I'm probably going to manual it on the ice golem. I just have to get through this round once. Because then I think when I get to the next couple rounds, I have affinity advantages on my regular teams or my primary teams. So get through these garbages. Boom. All right, everybody has to take care of Heart Seeker. Cold Heart. <laughs> because she has the Heart Seeker. All right. There you go. All right, I think I'm actually going to manual it now. All right, you're just going to hit people. You're going to hit them. You're going to do Art of Pain. You're going to do this guy for no particular reason. I don't know why. You're going to weaken everybody. And you are going to, wow, everybody only had their A1s. All right, speed time. There we go, team. Ooh, that allied protection's horrible. hate when that goes on. Oh, you're dead. All right, I'm leaving battle. Um, I'll try one or two more variations here. Um, actually, I'm probably going to put in Kale over her. Where's Kale? There he is. All right. Then I could put Adriel in the speed lead and then Orland Frost King or Stagnite. Okay, somebody just left. Oh, you did. So I got a speed lead and then I'll probably put in Stagnite over Whirlum. See what happens here. I just don't have a defense up. That means my people don't get defense. Okay, I can run this on auto. Now my speeds are all off. I know that for my champions. Oh, well. It's just the order of operations isn't proper. Again, I'm relatively new. I just don't feel like spending, at least right now, I don't feel like spending the time and energy to get all these teams in sync. Eventually I will. I think once I hit a like a definitive wall, one that I don't think that I could get over, then I'll change it, I'll change it up. That's going to require a couple spreadsheets, maybe a couple pieces of scratch paper just to figure out, you know, who's going where and doing what. All right, this wave is actually pretty hard for me. A lot of attack downs. Look at that. And defense down. All right, don't let them hit Kale. They're going to attack Kale, right? Wow. Yep, there's Kale being attacked. I don't know how I know this. It just seems to be like in every single dungeon, all of the enemy trash waves hit the same champion. All right, I'll see how they do on the Ice Golem himself and his side tricks. All right, so a lot of defense down, a lot of attack down on them. All good things so far. It all comes down to his gigantic smash and his heal reduction helpers. Oh, my defense is down? No, that's horrible. All right, he's going to do a smash soon. That ice golem, I think. Ooh, extra damage from Draco Morph. You see that? He killed that side minion. All right, here comes the dude smash. Get the reflect up, Adriel. Reflect damage up now. There it is. All right, good timing. Goink. All right. Couldn't have asked for anything better at that moment. See, this would be nice to have Cold Heart in here right now. I mean, not right now because she would hit the side guys, but, you know, to just take out chunks of the boss's hit points all at once. You know, that guy has a lot of, the Ice Golem has a lot of poisons on him. That's huge. Tons of poisons. All right. Draco. Oh, yeah. That extra damage. All right, I'm getting a little excited here. Uh, you know why? Because I, I can kind of see, you know, good things happening as long as those poisons keep stacking up. But I need some heals first. All right, there you go. There you go. All right, this should be a victory. I won. All right, see, look. Took a couple turns and got through it. That's all it takes.
That's all it takes. All right. Let's go to stage selection and see. All right, Spirit Affinity. This should be a victory as well. Let's check it out. I can keep the same team, I think. And I'm going to go for it. See what happens here. Yeah, that's huge, man. That is huge. I did not I did not have a lot of confidence going into that past one. But I guess I have the right parts for getting through these middle stages here. And this is a new just is a new trash mob that I'm fighting. I've never fought them before. Who's all in there? Those those ones that, that's called a Raider. I have her. She's a she's a rare. She hits kind of hard. I use her for faction wars. All right, I got to get Draco more of his tier six masteries. Yeah, he's sitting on like 550 scrolls right now. I could get a couple more tier five, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting until he gets 750 scrolls so I can finish him because he already has one tier five mastery. So he just needs 400 more for tier five completion and then 350 for tier six. So that's 750 total, only 200 more remaining. All right, come on, team. Okay, they're. Decrease attack. Adriel, you just really, that's clutch. You're once every five turns decrease attack. Man, those little dogs you took a big hunk out of Stagnite right there. All right, here we go. Level 17. All right. Wow, look at all the hit points this boss has. That's insane. This is where. Coldheart, with her heart seeker, I finally got it right, would be able to shine. I mean, she could take a huge chunk out of that that health. All right, come on, Draco, hit that. There you go, extra hits. Wow, huge, huge. All right, this is where Kale could get really badly injured right now with that heal reduction. Come on, Apothecary. Ugh. All right, all right, team. Oh, Kale. I'm aching for you. All right, keep stacking those poisons, though. Come on, people. Keep stacking those poisons. Keep stacking those poisons, people. All right, get some heals up. Poisons and heals. That's all I'm asking for here. And decrease attack and decrease defense. All right, Stagnite's going down soon. Come on, Adriel. Get that up. Get that up. There you go. Um, okay. All right, let's go. Poison Jaws. That's from Draco. All right, so Draco Morph is clearly the MVP so far. All right, come on, get a couple more poisons on him, and it should be pretty good. Get a heal, get a decrease attack there. All right, full health going into the home stretch here. Ice Golem, 17. I'm going to call this a victory right now. Look at that. Oh, I didn't even get a five or six star artifact, though. What a What a joke. All right, I'm going to sell that one because it's a flat flat stat chest plate. All right, so that's it. I think, um, I think I'm going to stop there. No, I'm going to go to 18. Forget about it. This is going to go one more round because force beats magic, but I have a bunch of magic, so this is like a neutral affinity. I just like testing the boundaries every now and then, especially during the missions. All right, there we go. I have uh I like Greybeard. Greybeard's in that trash mob. He's up front. He has that he has that uh counterattack that he puts on himself and a provoke. Actually, and Rock Tooth, both of those I got from the early campaign trails, campaign missions, and they helped me advance in the very early game as far as possible. Actually, it was Kale, Rock Tooth, Greybeard, and probably Spirit Host on my early arena teams. When I was down in bronze. Fun times. Fun times. Look at that. Now I'm fighting my old friends. All right. This took a way longer to get through this wave than I thought it would. So this neutral affinity, not too good. So once I get my rear gar sergeant built up, she's a force affinity. She'll be definitely beneficial for being that carry through these trash waves and possibly even into the ice golem. Probably not too different than Adriel. I mean, different 
because she is a ally protection, but she has a decrease attack is what I'm saying. So they both bring a AOE decrease attack just like that. All right, come on guys, get some get some hit points off these people. That's one of the things I really don't have a high end nuker on my team. Like a super high end nuker. I mean, I think maybe Draco Morph could be if I had him built up better. But I need uh, someone who has a on their A1 an AOE attack, a good one. So I do have Inferno Baroness, and she is a force. I have not built her up. As far as another A1 AOE attacker, I have Fellhound. So Fellhound and Inferno Baroness. I can definitely possibly get built up, and they're in my they're in my champion catalog right now. Not in the vault. In the catalog, I'm slowly building them up. You know, it takes so much time. But right now, there's a champion training event, and it's a 30,000 point one. And I currently have about 16,000. Great, I killed their Draco Morph. All right, now it's time to kill their... Wow, this Ice Golem has tons of hit points. All right, this is where Cold Heart would really, really shine. Wow. Wow, I just, I'm just looking at those bars and saying, wow, because there are so many of them. They just get condensed smaller and smaller, indicating a higher amount of hit points that have to be taken down. You know, I just, just didn't think I could get to this level. I really didn't. Man, Draco, if you would have hit the Ice Golem with that extra hit, that would have been nice. I would have been like a mini Heart Seeker. All right, so check that out. They're just they're just whacking them, decreasing the turn meter and hitting them. All right, get a reflect. There it is. That's all I wanted was a reflect damage up right there. Yeah, they keep decreasing the turn meter with their. Anybody frozen? Draco is okay. Not good. He's probably my best champion right now. I mean, it, for this fight, well, in general he is, but definitely for this particular dungeon on this stage for my first time he is definitely the mvp and i'm not discounting apothecary either i'm just saying he's bringing his a1 with the extra hit he has his poisons uh oh our defense is down he's dropping their defense too i mean this guy is just bringing it he's a really good champ to have i got very lucky it was uh i got him from a single ancient shard and uh just a random night. One day I pulled him, got on the, got out the uh, recording device and started recording after I pulled him. But yeah, he goes down. He had a decreased defense on him. All right. So that's a wrap. I'm not going to try to beat this one anymore. I'm going to be happy with all the stages that were beat so far and, uh, you know, leave it at that. And the next time I feel like trying to advance an ice golem, I will pop back on the recording device and share it with everybody. So thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, hope that you're having very good luck while you're going through your dungeons as a early mid game player or deep mid game player or an end game player or early, early game player, whatever, whatever you're at. Just hope you're doing well. So uh, please click the subscribe button and the like button and I'll see you next time.